Scene one, take one. Scene two, take one. Scene ten, take one. Right now, in the world, the population is increasing at a very dramatic rate, but we do not have enough land to produce enough food, and we have to do it in a sustainable way. Hudak's strategy to use fermented plant protein knits very well into this idea because we don't need that much space now. So we are producing more and nutritious from the same land. Soybean meal as its own ingredient is a fairly important ingredient in the aquaculture industry, but it has its limitations. Through fermentation, the anti-nutritional factors that are found in conventional soybean meal are removed. I think it's very exciting to be able to use the power of precision fermentation uh, to continue to bring more precision to our products for different applications. As we develop uh, new technologies, continuing to add value to all the people that are part of the whole circle of, of this as well, whether it be you know, the people producing the crops in the field, to the people running the processes in the plant, to the people in, uh, on the ultimate consuming end of the different products that we make. Plant-based fermentation is beneficial because it can help break down things in the plant material that isn't digestible for different types of animals. So moving to fermented plant protein, we decrease the carbon footprint, making our environment better, and it's a more sustainable approach to feed the future. Soybean and other crops, they have a lot of protein content, but it might not be readily available for the animals or even humans to directly eat. When you extract the oil out of these oil crops, it's all the protein and fibers. So to enrich the protein levels in the final product, we use something called fermentation, which is the use of microorganisms to enrich or increase the levels of protein and make it readily available in the final product. So that is essentially the fermentation and fermented plant protein is to be able to use microorganisms, living things, to increase the value of our final product. I think that Hudrek has the potential to create a more nutritious product than what's commercially available otherwise. I think that creates sustainability because you don't need as much of it then to get the same nutrient content. Better food, more food, and easier on the environment. So with these kind of ideas coming in, I feel like in 50 years from now, we would have a very sustainable way of producing different things, especially food, feed. I hope that the work I'm doing helps my son in the future. Energy utilization would be more sustainable. That he won't have to worry. We'll reduce our dependence on the fossil fuels. About protein nutrition. And be using more renewable sources of energy like solar energy. That the work we're doing here will have created a platform for not just soybean meal, but other feedstocks as well. So definitely more sustainable.